So then, before we get into today's episode, let's just say January wasn't our best month. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, do go back and see them before you jump into this one. Let's see how we've done since then. Roll the titles. Hello there guys, welcome back to Upon This Rock. This is episode 9. Before we get into the game with Oxford, we're just going to have a quick recap of how we've done since we were last met. So the last game we played was against the MK Dons, humiliating 3-1 defeat there at home. 12,000 people at London Road for that match, but we just didn't deliver, didn't come to the party. As you can see, we've played quite a few, uh, quite a few games, but... Been on a little bit of an unbeaten run, which is great to see. Um, three draws, four wins, awesome results. So we so we followed up the MK Dons result with a 2 0 win away at Port Vale. Marcus Madison with two goals very late on, 79th and the 83rd minute. All in all, a very good away trip. We then came back home to London Road for two games, one against Sheffield United here. I've taken a draw at the start of the game, if you're giving, giving it to me, because they're a very tough side Sheffield United and we came out with a very solid tool draw Lee Angle with a brace Harry Chapman and Stefan Skugel with uh, the goals for Sheffield United as you can see here really did dominate the game 18 shots 58% possession happy to see that seem to be back on form we have made a few little tweaks which I will show you on the tactic in just two seconds second home game was another draw one all against Shrewsbury Lee Angle again getting another goal that's three goals in two games and uh, AJ Leach, Leach Smith with uh, the equaliser there. As you can see here, we were very, very below par. Shrewsbury actually had the better of the game, and I think a draw was probably a fair result, to be brutally honest. We then went away to Walsall, a very tight 1 0 win. As you can see, Guy and Edwards here uh, actually scoring the 94th minute. So we did get away with it a little bit, but as you can see here on the stats, 23 shots, 61% possession. We absolutely dominated the game. They were down to 10 men after the 40, 41st minute. Adam Chambers got straight uh, straight red card for a double foot challenge on one of our players. So that was a 1-0 win against Walsall away from home. We then came back to London Road and it was a 3-1 win against Rochdale. We laid the ghost to rest from that FA Cup defeat that we had. Uh, but we did go behind Nathan uh, Nathaniel Mendes-Lang, who actually is a former posh player, scored in the second minute. But Leo... Paul Taylor and Marcus Madison all coming, all scoring to make it 3-1 to the posh. As you can see here again in the stats, Rochdale didn't really uh, have any shots on target other than that one goal and another shot on target. Millwall away was the next game uh, at the Den. Very tough place to go Millwall and we opened the scoring within the fifth minute. Leo again popping up. He's been in great form over the last four or five games. But as you can see here, both sides were very, very poor quality wise in front of goal. They went down to... 10 men on the 91st minute but it didn't really have any bearing on the result again a 0-0 uh, a nil -nil draw against Bradford City away from home at Valley Parade as you can see here we dominated the game yet again but just the uh, just the finishing and the final third didn't give us uh, didn't give us the result we probably did deserve so where does all that leave us in uh, in League One? That does leave us at still top of the table. 26 wins, 7 draws, 3 losses, uh, and, a, and a good goal difference there, 43. Baldwin and White both having uh, both being the first and second highest average rating at 7.46 and 7.38. White also getting in on the assists at 12 assists, so top assist of the, uh, of the league. And Luke McGee being the top clean sheets of the league as well. At the minute, we don't have anybody in the goal stats, and that just shows you that we're not being clinical enough, even with all the uh, even with all the opportunities we're making for the team. So, as I said, today's game is against Oxford. Let's jump into that now, and I'll show you the few tactical tweaks that I've made since last since last episode. So, this is the team we're going going with for the game against Oxford. We've got McGee in goal, Kavanagh, Baldwin, Boswick, White, Forrester, Anderson, M Madison, Taylor, De Silva, Lopez, and Angol few t tactical things that I've done is actually just pulled back the two wing backs from being wing back attacks to wing back support. Because what I noticed is when I went into the tactics and just did a little bit of analysis of the uh, of the goals. If you look at the assists, both the assists were coming down our, our wide, our 
coming down from our wide areas. And that's probably because our wing backs were probably too far forward. So what I've done is just knock them back to wing back supports. And it seems to have turned our fortunes round, um, which is which is good to see. And it's literally the only tactical change that I made, purely because they were too fur too further forward. This this is our strongest side on the bench. We've got Ben and Williams, Hendry, Smith, Wallace, Edwards, Adua, and Colehurst, who's come back from injury. Let's get going. So Oxford are going to be playing the flat 4-4-2, as you can see here, with Maguire and uh, Kane Hemmings up front, just off the top. So kicking off now. Let's see if we can keep our good runner form going. Madison with a free kick. Oh, he's hit the bar there, but Silva Lopez is there to tuck it away. That's 1-0 to the posh. That's 10 minutes gone. Hall now. Highlight after the highlight. Flicks it to about far post, but McGee's there. Num there, number five. Nelson with the uh, with the back post header there, but McGee was in the right place. Quickly bowled out to Madison here on the left. Forrester to pick it up. Anderson now in the middle. Acres of space. Finds Angol. Angol now with to Forrester. Patient play, Taylor, Anderson to Angol, through to Taylor, oh just wide, great little movement there from one end to the other, quick counter attack from the posh, but we were lucky there not to go, not to concede, not to go one all, Oxford now with a, with a throw in, Lock, early ball to Hemmings, Hemmings to Maguire, but McGee what a save that was, reaction save there from Luke McGee, very quick throw in there from Oxford, corner now. Quick, very quick half an hour here. Kavanagh throw into Madison. Madison just being stopped there by the uh, right winger. Or right back, sorry, Edwards. And he's just launched it forward, trying to find either Hem Hemmings or Maguire. Taylor now in that pocket of space behind the front. Find Angol. Anderson. Oh, what a hit by Anderson. 18 yards out. He just looked up, had loads of space in front of him and absolutely pinged it top corner. Keeper had absolutely no chance there. Taylor in that little pocket of space. Passed out to Anderson. What a finish there by Jermaine. 8.1 rating at the minute. 35 minutes gone. Looks like a very comfortable, comfortable win so far for the posh. 10 minutes to go before half time. And goal now with a little bit of room to manoeuvre. Passes it out to Anderson. First time ball to Leo. Leo, first time ball into Madison. Falls to Anderson, but shot's been blocked and Oxford get it away. First time ball up to Maguire. Passes Forrester. Over to Ledson, ex Everton player Ledson. Frazier into Maguire. Maguire makes it 2 1 now. Lovely little ball in from Frazier over to Maguire. They've been trying to hit the ball first time very quickly up to their two strikers. They've been giving us a little bit of an issue. Five minutes till half time now. Maguire. But Forrest has brought him down. He's gone in late. And that's a red card for Chris Forrester. That's the second red card now this season. He's going to cost us potentially another win. Going to drop to Silva Lopez back. And I push Taylor over to the wing. I'm also going to drop it from control to standard. Because I think the way they're playing, they're trying to get the ball forward as quickly as they possibly can. And that's catching us off guard. Potentially a, a little counter attack is what they're trying to do. So let's regroup now, half-time. I'm going to tell them to keep focused. We've played well, but that Forrester sending off could derail us a little bit. Second half starts now. MK Downs are currently drawing to Rochdale. So the gap's opening up to eight points now. We're coming into the last 20 minutes of the half. That second half's flown by. Nothing's really happened. We've really controlled the game. I'm going to just bring Shaq on now just to stretch, that game, stretch the game a little bit further for us. Bring Marcus off because he's on a yellow card. Don't want him to get sent off. And Jack's bold, Jack Baldwin is just struggling. So I'm just going to bring on Jack Hendry. Just for the final 20 minutes. Let's see if we can uh, see this game out. We've done a good job of it so far. No highlights really in the second half. MK Don's still drawing. It's be a good result for us if we can if we maintain it. Especially going down to 10 men. Nelson now, five minutes to go. Launches it in, but Luke McGee takes control of his uh, of his box there. Rolls it out to Kavanagh. Kavanagh finds Edwards with a glorious pass, but he just heads it on. Should have been bringing that down and making a, a better decision there. Crowley over to Frazier. Frazier whips it into Thomas, and that's two all. We just couldn't hold on. Where's Thomas there with his 10th goal of the season? 
it's two all at London Road. That sending off has absolutely cost us. But the only saving grace is MK Dons are still drawing. Two minutes now added on. Boswick clears that corner. Lands to Johnson. Over to Frazier again. Ryan Frazier on loan from Bournemouth. Maguire. And they've just nicked a 3-2 winner. They've just nicked a winner there. Maguire again. And Chris Forrester's sending off has cost us absolutely dearly. We were in control of that game. 2-1 up. And he's gone and done a stupid error by getting sent off for the second time in as many games. And that's it. Oxford 3, Peterborough 2 at London Road. Not happy at all. We're in great form coming into this game. And Oxford there, a mid-table team. And we've just gone and lost to them. 3-2 at home. Our home form, as I'll show you in two seconds, hasn't been the best. The only saving grace is the Dons only drew. So they close to five points now with a few games remaining. So this is the league, this is the League One table as it stands. Our home form, it's not the best. We've drawn five games and lost two. And a couple of those games drawn, as you can see there, two nil nils, one from Coventry, one from one from Port Vale. The Sheffield United draw I'd have taken, but Shrewsbury, Southend, Coventry and Port Vale, all lower lower leading lower league sides. We should be beating them and we haven't. We've we've kind of come unstuck unfortunately. Our away form, on the other hand, best in the league. 14 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses. Brilliant performance. But our home form at the minute, just we just can't seem to get over the line, unfortunately. Also, during the, during the time away, we have had the youth intake day as well. The best ones that came from it was this chap here, Danny Burtonshaw. He's a left back. One star current ability, but up to 4.5 star potential ability, which is good to see. Greg Beasley, a striker. One star current ability, but four star potential ability. And Tom Ward hasn't. He's got three silver stars there, but he's up to three and a half uh, potential ability as well. Some really good young prospects coming through our our youth intake day, which is good. I've already signed these boys up. These these three at the top. So hopefully nurture them and they'll they'll come through to the uh, to the first team. So the next time we'll be back together will be the away game at Coventry City. So big game. Uh, Coventry massive team ex Premier League team so that's when the next the next episode will be and then after that we'll do the the season finale we'll do a double header Bristol Rovers and Bolton um for the for the final game of the season so Coventry's next and then Bristol Rovers and then Bolton so that's it from this episode episode 9 of Upon This Rock if you've enjoyed the episode please do leave it a like if you want to make sure you don't miss any more content on the channel please do hit that subscribe button and until next time I'll see you soon.